vertical farms in multi-level greenhouses using hydroponics and red and blue LEDs with Dixon de Pommier, Emeritus Professor, Columbia University. This clip from Channel 9 MSN 60 Minute segment, City Farms. Nine billion mouths to feed by 2050. I think that every country should be concerned about food sovereignty and food safety. Those are two big issues. Having enough to eat is a big deal. Columbia University's Dr. Dixon de Pommier is the world's leading advocate of city farm. See, I look around here, I see all these buildings. You see potential farms. I do, I do. I'm sorry to say that, but I do. <laughs> So if you could turn this building, this block, into a vertical farm, how many people could it feed in this city? If it's a 30-story building or more, we could feed it between 40 and 50,000 people per year. His vision is vertical farms, entire city buildings designed for food, not people. You've got a greengrocer at the bottom and you've got your high-end restaurants at the top. So, um, you know, that's, that's ideal. And the layers in between, you've got, what, carrots on one level, sure. tomatoes on the next. Got it. Keep going. <laughs> Squash, <laughs> green beans, watermelons, tomatoes, you name it. All in one high-rise building. Yeah, sure. In a nutshell, no pun intended, that's the way I see a vertical farm behaving. Dr. de Pommier's enthusiasm for sky-high farming is infectious. But it's grounded in a very sobering reality. He says we're simply running out of room for conventional farming. Seven billion people use the size of South America to grow their food. That's an entire continent's worth of land for seven billion people. That's sobering. Well, we got to do something else, or we're going to outgrow this planet very fast now. For a glimpse into the future, we've travelled outside Houston, Texas. This anonymous building in a remote commercial park holds the world's largest and most sophisticated vertical farm. Oh my goodness, goodness me! Oh my goodness! What an incredible sight. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, this is the future of farming. That's right. Yeah, well, that's not the future of farming. It's what we're doing now. It's now. Yeah. yeah. It's a billion-dollar U.S. government-funded project that grows crops for medical research, and very few visitors get access. For Dixon, it's Nirvana. Remarkably, these plants thrive without sunlight or light as we know it. The light in here is, is extraordinary. It's actually, it, it is. plays tricks with your own eyes. It does, it does, it does. Yeah. So you're seeing the world through the eyes of a plant right now. So plants, they don't need the entire visible spectrum, okay? Plants have only two molecules that are important to them, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll A and B have absorption spectra that are uh, exactly synced with these LED lights, blue and red. Blue and red, yeah. Blue and red, that's all they want. Dixon believes if we can embrace this incredible technology around the world, the plants won't suffer through bad seasons and crops won't spoil. And with those high-tech LED lights now 60% cheaper to run than just five years ago, the cost of production is falling fast. And your vision is you can put stacks and stacks and stacks of these into skyscrapers. Yes. Simple. Mm. That's, that's the idea. It's, it's really stupid simple, but that's exactly what we should be doing. 